Hello, hello, everybody. This is Angel Arts, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Telltale Games' Batman The Enemy Within. It is the day before Thanksgiving, at least for us Americans, and um, I took the day off from work just because I wanted to relax a bit. Also because I'm still recovering from a sickness that, I mean, I'm much better than I was several days ago, but since we're going to be doing some traveling tomorrow um, to visit Colin's family, um, I wanted to try to take it easy today. So I'm going to go play Batman, and I might even watch Justice League after this, because I haven't gotten a chance to see it yet, and I do want to see it. I don't want anybody to tell me their opinions of it yet, because I want to form my own opinions. So if you're on the chats, please respect the fact that I don't want to know whether or not anyone thought it was good or bad. I want to go in completely blind and not know anything of what anybody... I've been avoiding it like the plague, and so I thought I would go ahead and watch Justice League sooner than later so that I don't get influenced by what other people think. Um, because quite often I find that I don't really... I don't always agree with the... Um, I guess verbal, the the most verbal people when they come to opinions about movies and stuff, because um, I definitely enjoyed a lot of movies that many people seem to hate and love and didn't particularly care for movies that a lot of people seem to love. So we'll see how this one turns out for me. Although I did enjoy the Wonder Woman movie, and I'm anticipating that Wonder Woman. I'm guessing that Wonder Woman is probably going to be one of the best parts of this movie, if not the best part of the movie. That's just my guess based on how things went um, historically with other DC movies, but that's um, that's what I'm anticipating. So, I think uh, I just wanted to say, uh, hi Danny, welcome to the live stream. Hey Kevin, thanks for dropping by Kevin. Good to see you. Um, Perfect Portal, welcome back to the live stream. Hello Petra, or the Sylph Wind. Welcome to the live stream. Evan, welcome to the live stream. Wow, are all of you taking off? Did all of you not have work or school today? Because um, that's pretty awesome. Um, and I'm surprised that nobody, none of you who are on right now are traveling. Because I think Wednesday, the day before Thanksgiving, tends to be a popular time for traveling. For those of you who are in America right now. Um, good. I killed Kenny. Welcome to the live stream, I killed Kenny. Hey, Shida, welcome back to the live stream. Uh, Perfect Portal says, I'm looking forward to the week ahead anyway. It's my birthday on Saturday. Happy early birthday, Perfect Portal. Uh, when, then we actors on the course I'm taking have our next show next Tuesday. That's exciting. Uh, Evan, for me, this episode took about an hour, 30 minutes. I think, I think, is that a good length for an episode? Um, I prefer my Telltale episodes to be roughly three hours, honestly. So that feels like this episode might be a little short, but we'll see. Um, I feel like a good length Telltale game is roughly two and a half, three hours. At least that's how long they tended to be back in the day. So um, there have been shorter ones. I think there was a Minecraft story mode episode that was only an hour, and I was a little disappointed that it was only an hour. Um... But um, hopefully this game will still... Hopefully the quality versus quantity, hopefully quality will still win out, even if it is a shorter, shorter episode. All my classes are canceled today, so my break begins. Awesome, Evan. I didn't know you were still in school, Evan. I thought you were... Um, for whatever reason, I thought you were working um, in the real world. But I guess you're in school. Perfect Portal. It's never a problem for me to tune into these dreams. It's 6 p.m. where I am. Well, that, that works perfectly. What are your plans for Thanksgiving? Also, happy early birthday, Perfect Portal. Uh, thank you for asking. So, uh, it works out perfectly because my husband's family is way more into Thanksgiving than my family, and my family is way more into Christmas than Colin's family. So, it just works out that every year we go visit his family, his aunt and other extended family in Long Island, New York, so we uh, will be busing to New York because it's actually a lot cheaper and not too bad. Um, I pref way prefer taking the bus versus driving to New York because then you have to worry about parking it and then 
You know, I kind of like that while you're on the bus, you can nap, or um, they have outlets and internet on the bus. So, although the internet normally doesn't work, so I don't really like bank on that. But anyway, I'd rather just do that, just entertain myself on the bus instead of driving the however many hours it takes to get to New York. So, um, and uh, it actually isn't so bad traveling on the day of Thanksgiving, apparently. We've done this trip many times. And um, I, I would think that it would be ridiculous, ridiculously horrible traveling on Thanksgiving Day. But no, it's actually, I think, compared to Wednesday. Wednesday is the nightmare to travel in, apparently. So um, that's what we're going to be doing. And uh, as gaming-wise, I just downloaded uh, South Park Fractured But Whole. So hopefully I'll get some gaming time with that. Tonight I am playing with Kevin, who's online right now, who's watching. Hi, Kevin. Kevin and Hannah and Dawnforge cast, or Andrew, we're going to play another session of, of um, Divinity Original Sin 2, which I really need to post on my channel about, just so people know that we're doing the second, second um, game of Divinity Original Sin. Kevin, if you're still on, let people know how much, like, what you think of the game so far or at least how much fun or not fun you are playing with the other three of us. We give his character a lot of, a lot of, um, uh, we, get, we, we, we basically give, give, give his character a hard time. <laughs> but we love it. We love him. Um, so that's super fun. And then, um, other than that, Christmas shopping, because I always prefer doing Christmas shopping the weekend of Thanksgiving. Um, I'm not one of those like crazy Black Friday people who are you know running to the store at like two in the morning, um, but I do enjoy. I still enjoy shopping on Black Friday though, just not you know ridiculously early in the morning. I, I have I, I do a leisurely shopping on Black Friday just so that it's all out of the way because I, I don't like the whole rushing at the last minute for Christmas presents. I just want to get it done and over so that before December I have virtually every single person's presents already already taken care of and then I can just enjoy, actually enjoy the December holiday without worrying about having to shop for presents. So, that's what I'm going to be doing. Um, I'm at college, not work. I had no idea, Evan. Uh, welcome back to the live stream, Cole Pun Punit. I haven't seen you in ages. Um, I'll be 29, the same age as Shepard in Mass Effect 1. That's a good age. I can't wait for Telltale's Walking Dead Season 4 either, Danny plays. Taking the bus to New York City is amazing. So much better than driving. Ah, uh, yeah, you and me both, Kevin. That's awesome. I'm in New Jersey. I don't know how busy driving to New York would be. Sounds harsh, honestly. But again, it's not as harsh on... Thursday than it is on Wednesday. Uh, we're getting Quantic Dream's next game, Detroit Become Human, next year as well. Yes, which is one of the top games that I'm looking for, that I'm looking forward to in 2018. That is definitely going to be a game I will be Let's Playing. Hopefully my friend Brian from work will let me borrow his PS4 once again. Uh, so, Hannah is watching too. Oh, that's true. That's true, Shida. Hannah, Hannah, Hannah's watching. Thank you. Hannah slash Shide slash. So I am Perfect Portal. You are Perfect Portal. Are there two Perfect Portals? That's crazy. That's crazy talk. Hey, Bo Stagey. Welcome back to the live stream. Excited to come to another stream. Some t someone saved me from university deadlines. Hopefully everybody's finals and school stuff isn't so bad. It's a really fun game. Ha, the dwarf always gets the jokes. Yes, yes, yes. Hannah is loving Divinity 2 with Kevin, Andrew, and Hark. Tons of RP, and our characters are really starting to develop. So I believe, Evan says, so I believe your Bruce and Selena were just friends in your playthrough, am I correct? Yes. And by God, I hope that the game doesn't force you into a relationship with those two if you don't prefer it. If you don't prefer it. Stop shoving the heterosexuality down my throat, Telltale. <laughs> No, no. That's just I it it's it's fine. It's it's I had we had this we got into this topic with with um how in in Guardians of the Galaxy over the weekend and how there are a lot of people who love to coin the term 
you know, stop shoving homosexuality down my throat. Well, to be fair, um, we get a lot of shoving of heterosexuality down our throat constantly. I don't think Telltale is going to do that. I think if that they, if our Bruce in season one um, was very much interested only in a very platonic, platonic relationship with Selena, I'm hoping that they will respect that and allow that to just be its thing, be its own platonic thing. Even though I know that um, I think in the comics proper, there definitely is something romantically going on between Selena and and Batman. It's complicated. It's a very complicated relationship. Um, one that I personally have never been personally interested in. Um, so this is supposed to be my Bruce Wayne. I'd like to play my Bruce Wayne the way that I envision him. And he has nothing against Selena whatsoever. He's totally is cool with her, and but as a friend, who we'll see what'll happen today. We will see. Um, uh, can't wait for Original Sin two from Hark. I love the first game. I love the first game too. And again, Hannah and Kevin are going to be joining us as well, and that makes a very interesting dynamic. I must say. I legit just finished this episode in time for the stream. Oh, cool, perfect. So you can go in without spoiling anything. I'm looking forward to your reactions. Lots of things happen. I'm looking forward to your opinions. Cool. We're two perfectly linked portals. Wow. Wow, perfectly linked. So which one's the orange portal and which one's the blue portal is my question. Be gone with your header, Norman, 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 Normativity. I believe you straight friends, but you still convinced her that she could be a good person, so you ended things well. Yeah. I feel like they're going to imply a relationship. Yeah, I think they always will. Batman's sleeve is overrated, that's why I prefer friends. Like, they're definitely going to be a romantic tension. Yeah, I, I guess I just don't like... I... For me personally, and this is just my opinion, so please do not hate me for this, I'm not a fan of complicated romantic relationships. I get that it ha it's happened, and I get that it's it's not necessarily that people are asking for it, asking for an it's complicated type of relationship, but for me, as someone who is watching a movie, or playing a game, or reading a book, um, romantic storylines with complications, complicated storylines, does not entertain me. It actually turns me off. I am not, it just doesn't do it for me. I'm not entertained. I don't enjoy listening, watching to its complicated type romantic relationship. That's why I'm not a big fan of like, I really, really hate um, love triangles, for example, because that's just, that just can get really messy, especially, you know, if you are, um, I mean, obvi and obviously, like, if you are of the type of person, which me most people tend to be, but not all. Um, if you're the type of person who is not into polyamory, um, the whole like love triangle thing is just no. That's just I. I'm not entertained by that. I'm the opposite of entertained by that. Like that's you. You you're, you lose me if that's part of a storyline. So um, so yeah. So just in general, uh, I don't. I just don't like. I just don't like it. And I understand that it happens in real life, and I understand that people do like it because it gives them something to relate to, because maybe they're dealing with stuff in their own life. But for me, um, there is a level of escapes, escapism that I enjoy having. I prefer having when I'm reading a story or experiencing a story, and that's just one of those things that I would rather escape from and not have to deal with in a story that I'm trying to enjoy. Um, I feel like I can relate to a character without that aspect of their life. But, like I said, totally my opinion. And if that is completely your jam, more power to you. Absolutely. You are very well entitled to enjoy that kind of stuff. But I do not. Um, like, I found Javier and Kate way too pushy. Yes, exactly. That was my issue with... with, with, um, with uh, season three of The Walking Dead is that they were 
that 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 was a very clear example of of shoving heterosexuality down your throat if it's not if you weren't interested in in that in that type of relationship with a character um one of the turnoffs for me about Bruce and Selena's romance is that it is always on on again and off again in all their media interpretations. Yeah, that 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 that's one of the complications that I'm like I'm not a on and off again kind of person when it comes to relationships. So it's like you're either in or you're out. And if you just if you keep, you know, doing this dance where you're sometimes in, sometimes out, that's not for me. And I certainly don't enjoy stories that surround that personally. Um, the Avenger, uh, I disagree with you, Bruce plus Lena is perfect, Batman, Catwoman, not so much, it's my opinion. I can see that, I can see that, Danny, that's a very good point. Kate was very pushed on the player, Javi deserves to be with Jesus. Uh, yeah, you're, you're preaching to the, cra to the choir there. Love triangles are so extra. Bruce does have a son with Talia al Ghul, though. I did read about that. I didn't know. It's interesting. Uh, yeah, Bruce has a lot of love interests, and it seems all of them are a bit complicated. Yeah, don't get me started with Barbara Gordon, please. Do not get me started with that. That was just... Yeah, anyway. Uh, Bruce didn't have a choice with Talia's son, though. He was apparently drugged into it. They did okay with Barbara in the Batman Lego movie, but... It was just too soon. It was just too soon after the animated movie. I was like, again, totally my opinion though. Okay, I think I stalled enough. So we are going to start episode three, The Fractured Mask. All my moderators are good to go, so thank you very much. As the pressure to uncover the impending attack on Gotham intensifies, Bruce navigates his dual identity and his relationship with his new allies. Dun dun dun. Let us start it, episode three. Loading screen, loading screen. The game series adapts to the choices you make. The story is tailored to how you play. Old five points, 2.46 a.m. I wear the mask in order to protect this city. But when faced with a new breed of criminals calling themselves the Pact, the direct approach was met with disaster. I had to don a different mask. As Bruce Wayne, I infiltrated their oh, ranks. Oh yeah, that's right. The plan was to get in, set the trap, and get out. But the plan failed. Now they're one step closer to their goal. And all I have are questions. What is the pact really after? Yeah, it's Newsy Why Bruce. still Riddler's body? Newsy Bruce is adorable in that outfit. Friend or foe? Nice place you got here. Did it come with the vermin? Or did you add that yourselves? Hi, Laura Bailey. It's a little rundown, but the rent is right. This everyone? Riddler said you had a luchador in the mix. Yeah. Bang. Oh, he came down with the case of the left behinds. Oops. <laughs> we are the entirety of our cabal at the moment. Oh, this gentleman was someone we picked up after Riddler's departure. Bruce Wayne. Bruce, was it? Charmed. I'm sure. Be gentle. This is Mr. Wayne's first foray into the field of felonry. I'm gonna say charmed. Criminal virgin, huh? I won't hold it against you. No, Chante. Oh, I didn't know this oh. party was so formal. Wow. You got the toy we talked about, beautiful? Get the lady sparklies out of the safe, John. She ain't doing this out of the goodness of her heart like the rest of us. Brucey, be a doll and give Kitty a hand. I ain't touching that popsicle. I got some thinking to do. Mm-hmm. So. Fancy meeting you here oh, let's again. Get some... What are we doing? Well, we're going to 
extricate the body. Riddler built a secret back door into the security system of his old employer. I need to scan his eyes and then create a retinal key for them. Yeah. Then I'll use the key to make goggles, and we can open whatever doors he could. Help me lift. His eyeballs? This is just like Tales from the Borderlands. Although, hopefully we don't need to use a spork. This wasn't the original plan. He was supposed to be alive, but... Things change. Yeah. Get his head in a good position. That's Gee. far enough. Dig the plates under his lids. Press the button and scan away. Oh, this is like Tales from the Borderlands. Ugh, that's gross. Okay. What the hell did they do to him? And what's with the refrigerator coffin? Why would the agency transport him like this? This doesn't add up, Bruce. Bruce, I'm sorry about Lucius. I'm guessing it wasn't a gas leak or whatever the news said. You're right. Riddler killed him. But it was meant for me. Damn it, Bruce. I'm... This isn't all on you. On to the next. I didn't know what I'd be walking into with this group, but I certainly didn't expect it to involve you. And I know you're no stranger to peril, but you shouldn't be here. So, what gives? No one told me you would be joining us either. Can't say I'm surprised. Not everyone here is happy to see me. I knew Riddler before this. Ooh. In what way did you know Riddler? He was the one who initially hired me. And he wound up dead, so... I'm not sure I have a lot of friends here. Friends. You've got the friends. Only one, questions. one question. Make it fast. Why are you here? How did you get involved with these psychopaths? Ran into Harley once or twice, but I knew Riddler. He tried to bring me in before... Well, before someone here probably killed him. Here, eh? <sighs> You done? His papers never looked so good. John, pay the lady. Don't spend them all in one place. You get the rest when we're inside. That wasn't the deal I made with Riddler. Take it up with him. Harley! You'll find I'm not disposed of so easily! You overstepped when you left him, and now it's time to pay the price. No. Wow, she got her quick times oh, done. Oh, this one's actually got some brains. <laughs> Everyone else better be smart too. You. Ah ah ah. You are a means to an end. When this is over. Did it occur to any one of you people that the job we just pulled went sideways a little too quick? I think they knew we were coming. Because a little rat told them. They was right to beat up his guy before we left to hit the convoy. He just beat up the wrong one. Since he couldn't deliver, I'm taking over the case. And I'm not gonna let whoever it is stop me from getting what I want. This leak, it nearly caused the demise of Gotham's favorite luchador. Mm. So now, no one moves, no one breathes without my say-so. Cause I'm gonna get to the bottom of this. And whoever it is, is gonna find their inside suddenly al fresco. That make you nervous, Bruce? What do you have to say? Don't I'm I'm it's worth Don't it. If she shoots me, it's careful, worth it. Bruce. It's worth You're it. Valuable, but not irreplaceable. Remember that. 
when I told her off last episode and she shot me. Stop wait. Still worth it. I'd do it again. Excuse me, <laughs> peanut gallery. You got something to say? Wayne pulled his own out there. Saw it with my own two eyes. And I ain't gonna let a good effort go unnoticed. Then let's get back to work. That's right. Put the gun away, Tarly. If anyone else has any issues with the New World Order, my door is always open. Hmm. <laughs> Lead us to our prize, and all will be forgiven. Wayne, come here a second. Mm-hmm. Thanks for vouching back there. Hey, it's tough in the trenches. Hey, we gotta look out for one another. Otherwise... Oh gosh, that guy just signed his death warrant. I think he's gonna die next. Hiya, Bruce. It's always the nice ones. Guess you're clear. For now. Because apparently you're so capable. I got an errand for ya. I know just about everything about Riddler's plan. Mm -hmm. But he kept one card close to his chest. The location of the job. Took the secret to his grave. Now I got his laptop, but look at this. And keep your yap shut. Can't let any of these mooks sense weakness. It's encrypted! It's like he knew not to trust any of us. <laughs> Go figure. This is where you come in. Let me see it. <sighs> okay, let me see the laptop. I'm pretty tech-savvy. Maybe I can crack Bruce, it. Bruce, in case you missed it, we have a mole problem. And until we clear that up, the keys to the kingdom stay with me. Got it? So why are you showing it to me, Riddler then? had a beef with his former employers, who are cooking up some very dangerous and super fun stuff at a black site lab somewhere here in Gotham. And what is it we're after, this super fun stuff? You ask a lot of questions. You know that? I've been able to piece together most of his plan, except where the black site is. You're gonna find a location. And when you do, maybe you'll get a treat. A sweet, delicious little treat. You're asking me to do something with little or no information to go on. And when I asked you for some kind of clarification, you dodge. Bruce. Did you see what just happened? I'm in charge here. That means when I ask you to bring me something, you deliver it. No questions asked. See, I ain't letting this laptop out of my sight until I clear up this mole problem. So, I want you to head over to Riddler's place and do some digging. I might need some help. That place is full of death traps. Take John with you. Just don't get him hurt. That's my job. Wow. Wayne trip with Bruce. Oh, I'm actually. I was thinking Catwoman. Do we not After get all, to choose? Woman. Seriously, we don't Good get to point. choose. Take a two. Oh. I'll grab some snacks. This will be an interesting trip. <laughs> the three of us. What's that guy's story? Oh, he's my new bow. He's my new bow. The beef jerky or trumpet shaped. Bites, girl. <laughs> Why am I even asking? I'll bring both. Well, there's never a dull moment with John around. Why do I get the feeling that's not a good thing? <laughs> Who's ready to hit the road? <laughs> okay. Who are you gonna tell if you see anything that ain't on the up and up? You are. But don't worry, Bruce is my best friend. He'd never betray me. Oh, sweet, innocent pudding. Friends have the easiest access to stab you in the back. Now get out of here. Girlfriends can too. Girlfriends and boyfriends I can too. I want that black site location. I do agree with everybody that it is really interesting to see Harley in a more, in a far less submissive, far less submissive 
um, relationship with Joker. Quite the contrary, I can't actually. Believe this is where he decided to set up shop. It wasn't like him to slum it. I always thought the abandoned water tower was an odd choice. I mean, the mold. Check for traps. Fun. It's not the abode of a man who asked me to steal a Renoir, that's for sure. We should check for traps. Who knows what Riddler did to this place? On it. Come on, John. Waller. Glad you answered. We need to talk. Listen about the convoy. We couldn't get to you safely. The EMP blast knocked out my ability to communicate with my field agents. I'm sorry. It obviously wasn't supposed to go down like that. Well, innocent people died because of your no-show. You think I don't know that? Those maniacs butchered my agents. My friends. I can't take losses like this. I need to lean on you even more now, Bruce. You being inside. It's our best hope. Well, now they have Riddler's body. It was cryogenically frozen. By the agency. Bruce, this was a 60-year-old man who went toe-to-toe -to -toe with Batman. I have some very interested researchers who wanted to see what kept him ticking. Wait, wait, uh, I got the punchline wrong. Uh, let me start. It's fine, John. Bruce, are you there? Say, Doc, I'll have what she's having. <laughs> <laughs> it was a good thing we searched around. I noticed an old security camera and deactivated it. No telling what will come across inside. Okay, let's find a way in. Hmm. I have, have to, to say, to John does have quite Don't a worry. sense of fashion. I brought my key. <laughs> That's not subtle at all. Hey, I believe in you, John. You show that wall who's boss. Hey, Bruce, I have an idea. Why don't you jimmy it open? <laughs> Aww. Aww, look at his face. Aww. S sorry, John, I tried. I tried. But Selena's being a third wheel. Welcome to the live stream, I fall into fantasy. Who's there? Don't move! Who's that? Wait a minute. I know you. You're Bruce Wayne. Uh, guilty is charged. This doesn't look good. Want to explain what you're doing out here? Not really. This isn't exactly the heights. You know I'm friends with Jim Gordon. If you want to check on me, just call him up. You think I'm going to interrupt the boss and his family at dinner? I don't know. Are you? Uh, oh, oh, okay. Detective... Bullock. Detective Bullock. Bullock correct. Okay. Uh, look, there's actually a very good reason for all of this. What? Stay right there, jerkwad. I'm glad you know I'm that reason, Bruce. Say. I've been asked to report any suspicious activity around here, and you're acting suspicious. Oh, come on now, detective. We can work this out, just the two of us. I disagree. Bruce freaking Wayne. Unbelievable. Wouldn't even be working tonight if I didn't need the extra dough. But maybe this will make me look good with the boss. Bribe him. We've got money. Oh, sure, sure. O overtime, right? Well, maybe... maybe I can help with that? I'm not that kind of cop. No, 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 of course not, of course not. This... this benefits both of us. Here, here, it's everything I got on me. Just hang up the phone, and it's yours. I mean, this is gonna be bad either way, because he's gonna... he knows that I was Try driving a cop. Try in there. I do not want this coming back on me. He's, this is going to bite us in the butt later, but I feel like that'll be better than Come punching on. him in the face. Fractured mask. 
What's your superpower? I'm rich. Yeah, this place again. It's even worse than I expected. The man I knew was flawed, but he could still muster a little warmth. Huh, sounds like you knew a very different Riddler than the one I met. I wish he'd never come back to Gotham. Me too. There's hope for everyone. I don't think any of us are beyond reach. <laughs> I know we've just met. But somehow I knew you'd say that. Reach or flexibility, Bruce? You knew him best. Where do you think he'd keep any info on what we're after? Well, not to state the obvious, but it's probably behind a riddle or a puzzle somewhere. Oh, I call the downstairs bedroom. <laughs> Careful, John. This place is probably a John's death trap. John's going straight for the bedroom. Follow him, Bruce. I don't want John's sure. curiosity to get Sure. Us Bruce is going to go follow him to the bedroom. That's exactly what we're going I'm to do. I'm really tempted to touch something. And John's ready to touch something. <laughs> Oh my, this ship writes its- This ship sails itself, I have to tell you, ladies and gentlemen. How many TVs does one guy need? Probably afraid he'd miss something. Reach, thank you, Kevin. I'll examine the loose floor floorboard in a moment. I think that's probably one of the last this things I should examine. This is boxes. Oh, boxes. We know all about boxes, do we, Kevin? You gotta admire the ingenuity. It's a wonderful toy. It's a wonderful way to lose your hand. Well, you know what they say. Curiosity killed the cat. <laughs> There's something under here. Some kind of platform. Let's talk to John. Hey, Bruce. I've been wanting to talk to you. Alone. Whoa. Is this it? You is have? this Is this it? I don't like how cozy Catwoman was with Riddler. Because he was a killer? Because he was rude to me. No. We need to stick together. Trust this kitten one bit. You know what they say about a black cat crossing your path. She's a nice person, though. No, she's nice once you get to know her. Right, let's agree to disagree, but I'll keep my peepers peeled for both of us. Okay. All right, John. I mean, she's nice once you get to know her. I think he's just jealous. Handcart. Wonder what he was moving. Move the death chamber. Don't break my heart, John. I've been hurt so bad by Two Face. Nice. Let me help you out there, Bruce. I don't want you to bend your cummerbund. Uh, okay, John. Sure. Well, that did something. <laughs> Welcome to the Maelstrom. Deeper and deeper you go. This is the vortex of life, pulling you down into its depths. Yeah, how are you enjoying it, Riddler? Oh. Really? Work. You sleep. You die, at all times one foot in the grave, until the second inevitably follows. You have to work hard and sleep hard in order to earn your way six feet under. What did I tell you? I suppose those are our clues to whatever Riddler is hiding in here. You gotta work hard and play hard. Explore the workshop to solve puzzles, Riddler's puzzle. Work, sleep, death. 
A little grim. A little boring is what it is. Let's stay away from the electrical things for right now. That's odd. Loose full floorboard. What are we missing here? What is this? What is that? Pressure plate? Ah, uh, well, you only live once. Ah, ah, ah! To truly understand my mind, you must first walk a mile in my... Well, Shoes. Certainly, you know the rest. Be careful what you said on those. So there's probably a pressure plate in other areas. Your hair is your hair is really green. I, I've been meaning to ask it. The green hair. What what is what is that? I don't know. What's with your black hair? <laughs> I'm sorry, buddy. I'm a little sensitive about my style. It's a nice style. No, didn't mean to make you uncomfortable. I don't remember anything about myself before Arkham, and when I came to... Well, here it was. I guess it's natural. Fair enough. Natural, eh? Why do you hate Riddler so much? I've mentioned this before, but uh, he always... Interrupted me. He was rude to you. Get to the punchline. Oh. It takes a lot of confidence to tell a joke, you know. I'm sure it does. But it made me look like an idiot. Oh, John. Those other guys. But hey, uh, I guess I have the last laugh now. Welcome to the live stream, warm fireplace. <laughs> uh, okay. Okay, John. John, we're friends, right? So I gotta ask. What do you see in Harley? A ruthlessness. The way her accent comes and goes when she's mad. The way she lets things escalate into violence. <laughs> does John still make you uncomfortable because of how you don't know how to reason with him? Yes, he does. Yes, he does. He definitely puts me on edge. I feel like I'm always walking on eggshells whenever I'm interacting with him. Um, navigating my way through him socially is very challenging. Oh my god, Hark, you can't just ask people why their hair is green. Well, well, yeah, we just did. Hey, Selena. I mean, hey, Catwoman. Hey, Money Man. Money Man. So, uh, how'd you meet Riddler? How'd you and Riddler first meet? You know, I do a lot of Freelance work. Let me guess, Riddler wanted a painting from the Louvre? Without bragging too much, it was an easy job. Huh. After all, I'd already robbed the place twice. He became a valuable contact when money was tight. So why are you really here? I said I'd tell you when we're alone. We're not. I'll tell you later. The game is really, really pushing this, but my Bruce would not even think to ask this, so I'm not going to ask it, because I'm like, mm, he wouldn't ask that. Sure proud of his exploits, wasn't he? Ah, the bed. The shoes. Yeah. Canned food. And lots of it. We can't all get Lobster Thermidor on a whim. Oh, Lobster Thermidor. Was that a was that a nudge to the movie? To the Lego movie? Riddler's bed and shoes. A pair of Riddler's shoes. He didn't exactly have great fashion sense. Well, he did say something about a foot. Yes. Pick those up. Riddler's bed couldn't look less comfortable if he tried. Ah, 
I take you by night. By day, take you back. None suffer to have me, but do from my lack. <laughs> I take you by night. By night, take you back. <laughs> that sounds positive. I take you by night. By day, take you back. And what was the rest of it? Take you by night, by day, take you back. I'm not touching those coils. Tesla coils. This whole place is an electrical death cage. If these start sending out energy, we'll all fry. Send you by night, by day, take you back? You by night, by day, take you back. I mean, sleep, work. I mean, that's the workshop. So the workshop? I place the shoe on the workshop? This is my city. This is my plan. Nobody will interfere. <sighs> I guess I stand on this? I guess? I don't know what else to do. Watch me get killed now. Oh. Oh, goody. It looks like you've got both feet in the grave. Okay. You hear that? It's like you're standing on an elevator. I bet whatever we're looking for is down there. I think I gathered that. Maybe someone should stay up here. Keep watch. Good point. Let's go, Bruce. Sorry, cat lady. Or maybe you could stay? Oh, no. Harley gave me an assignment, and I mean to fulfill it. Give us a moment. Listen to me, not Harley. We'll make sure it's safe. We'll go first. Make sure it's safe. Bruce. You... You care about me that much? And here I thought I was losing you to her. I'll be on the next one, so so don't die before I get there. 